hello in this video I'm going to show you how to create a database on your Apache MySQL server that is on your PC so let's go into it first of all uh, the pre prerequisites that we need to do this include one a PC and or USB or external drive that is to say if your Apache um, or app server is installed in your PC then you don't need uh, a, a standard drive but if it is installed in the USB or external drive then you will need to connect it to your PC okay so whichever one you are using that will be fine so we need your PC or USB drive and a USB drive you need a PC and a USB drive and then we need a database manager whichever this one is called I'm using PHP my admin you may have other ones but this one the one that we are using here is the PHP my admin so we we'll start off by logging into a database manager is the PHP my admin you go to your browser Now I'm going to the browser to, to use the browser but if you uh, installed X, XAMP or XAMP um, software you will you, all you need to do is to, to um, click on the the control panel and then when it comes up you click on admin tablet just in front of the Apache and then the browser will, 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 will come up just like this and then it, as it comes up it will also come up um, showing the page the welcome page of XAMPP or XAMPP and then from there you can uh, click on the PHP admin tab there but if you are using a, a PHP admin that is installed in the um, it's an, in, in the Apache that is in, that is a, a Windows that is installed on the Windows Windows operating system directly, and not as opposed to the one that is in the XAMPP. Then you will need to open your look your your browser this way, and then you key in your local host, which is the address for your web server local ones on your computer then I immediately slash and then you put in the PHP my admin PHP my admin okay this way PHP my admin which is your folder of the PHP my admin that is in that is in the in the the web root web root which is HT doc of the Apache it is there that is that it is installed okay and then you enter so you are asking me for my username which is default is 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 root the username here is the username for the um, mysql storage server so it is normally the default is root. So you put in root. Okay. Then you enter your password. Then you enter or go. Oh, 
here we are We've logged into the PHP admin this PHP admin is only the administrative um, um, software with which we are managing MySQL server you will notice database server here server type MySQL my SQL or my SQL. That is the server that we are managing. And the user here is root at localhost. So that is the default user of the MySQL server. Okay. So we see that the uh, the operational web server, this is the database server, this is the web server, or operational server, web server is the Apache 2.2. Okay. information about the PHP admin okay and so we want to create a, a, a database these are the database bases already here and uh, we want to create a, a, a new database so to create a new database you click on users So we want to add a user because that database must have a user. So we put a username. So what what would be a username? Let's say a username is a user. Okay. Our username is user. The user. Then the host or server is, is I will going to create it on it's a local host. So that is local host. Then you enter a, a password. You, you say a password is a pass. Can be anything. So you type it. So here, database for user. We are not going to create a database for this user that we are creating now. It says create a database with this same name and grant all privileges. So we click check this box. So we are creating a database with the same name as the username which we are creating now. And we are granting it all the privileges of the user so we now click go so we have added a new user we have added a new user look at it you see it user okay. and then we also create at the same time a database that is it here this database has no tables in it yet if we click on it you will see no tables there's no tables so in this database we can now install um, our site, uh, database driven site, whether it is a uh, Drupal or Joomla or whichever database uh, driven uh, sites that we want to install in, in our computer, we can now use this, the database to install it. Okay, so this is uh, how we create a database. And that is it. So all we need to do now is uh, um, log out of the uh, PHP admin. So after having done this, all we need to do is to go back to our web server and continue to to install whatever um, website we want to install, 
whether it's Drupal as we have done in our last uh, other video um, so if we, if you go through that uh, video you will see how to install the Drupal and then you can easily once you have done this you can easily go to the uh, your web server and install your Drupal website thank you for watching uh, I hope you have gained you have learned something in this video God bless you